Thank you, Mr. Schmidt. This, the shared sacrifice is, is to see completely across the board how everybody's taking the hit. Ordinance employees, uh, civilian employees, Fair. regular employees, and also as part of the shared sacrifice, like uh, Gary Lerner said. I, and I don't want to reiterate anything he says because I agree 100% with what he said. In the room, we talked about the 2% tax cap. Apparently that was, you know, the main reason to put that there was to protect the taxpayers. I know it's only $16 million, but why isn't that 2% that was put there to protect the taxpayers being utilized? Obviously, well, we're in the middle of a recession. I, I know that, but also it was put there to protect the taxpayers. That 2% was formulated somehow to protect the taxpayers. Utilize that 2%. That's where I don't see the shared sacrifice, and it seems political to us. You want the sacrifice on the part of the residents from following your question. I am a resident. I understand. But you're and, and my members making thirty to forty thousand dollars a year. I'm just trying sacrifice. to ascertain that, that your idea of shared sacrifice includes the residents. My idea of shared sacrifice means shared sacrifice. Everybody's got to take their hit to save this county. Everybody as far as employees, or everybody. Everybody. Everybody that we can think of. Everybody in the county. Everybody in the county. Uh, I live here, I work here, I'm a taxpayer here. And to reiterate what Mr. Leonard also said, everybody in this room, one of the things that, that people just don't want to realize, the, the big white elephant that's in the room, this portion of our taxes is not the tax that's killing people. We all know the duplicate of taxes and the school budgets that get passed constantly. This tax, if it's put forth, is not the thing that ever kills anybody in this state, in, in this county. If it was done all along in projected matters, and it was built in, and there was proper tax and spending and cuts and, and consolidation, which we all agree with. I don't think we'd be in the mess that we're in right now. Yeah. To point a gun at the at the <coughs> correction officers, at, at the correction officers, at labor, forgive me, and say you have to give $150 million, $21 million from correction officers. When I was here for three contract negotiations where we were trying to pull teeth to find five to seven million dollars in concessions each time to get what we needed to protect our members and give the county what they needed to get a contract. To come back and say $21 million now, like I said before, it's astronomical. Yes, it's unattainable. I have so many guys that are making so much that they, they, they're going to walk off the job, and you're going to have less of a tax base. I, 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 hear what you, I understand what you're saying, and I don't know the facts and figures to be what you're telling me. I don't know that they're not what you're telling me. Negotiations I'm going take with, place with the county executive. <laughs> I'm, I'm not in negotiations. I'm being threatened. If you don't give us what we want, we're going to lay everybody off. We're going to furlough everybody. It's not realistic. We can't attain these numbers. We all live in Nassau County. We all love Nassau County. It's our livelihood. We need to get we need to get down to brass tacks and talk about realistic goals, realistic things. And like Gary Lerner said, I couldn't possibly go back to my members. Not even say that, you know, can you give us $21,000 a piece? They don't have it to give. I don't have $21 million to pull out and say, here, Mr. Mangano, Mr. Uh, Mr. Knife, or Mr. Stack. Here it is. Let's save the county. It's unattainable. There needs to be realistic things done. Consolidations, this, We've that, done cuts, everything is done. I understand. We continue to consolidate. Uh, you know, to me, and again, I'm an outsider in this. I'm just, I'm not in negotiations. But the purpose of, to me, the purpose of negotiations is to arrive at an attainable figure. That's I mean, why we're here asking you not to pass this budget that has $150 million in concessions written into it that we're all telling you is unattainable. It's completely unattainable. There's a lot of politics involved, a lot of partisan politics involved. What we're on here this morning, it's just, it's not as fine boggling to me. The mess that we're in that we need to get out of. And just this uh, back and forth. It's insanity. It's not partisan politics. It's a determination by this majority not to raise taxes in the middle of a recession, period. And there also appears to be that there will be a decision by the majority of the legislature to pass a budget that has $150 million in concessions in it. And like was stated before, if you don't get the concessions with that gun pointed at you, we're going to lay you all off, whoever you, whoever you may be. Have you, have you indicated how much you can give? What is it, Tim? We need to sit down with, with, with legitimate negotiations. Well, that's the county executive. Right. We, we, I was not given that opportunity. I was told, you're going to give me 13.7%. You, you want me to call them and tell them you want to negotiate? Absolutely. I'll, absolutely. I'll sit and talk with anybody. I walked into a room with a lot of very intelligent, nice guys in suits that are all very learned. Everything was wonderful. They all spoke very eloquently, and they told me, you're going to give me 13.7%, $21 million, which averages out to $20,000 a guy. Okay, so what and my you... answer was, 
It was very nice to meet you guys. I gotta go. <coughs> and that's what we consider negotiation. So what would you consider reasonable? What, what is your opinion? I'm not going to negotiate here, Mr. Well, Mr. Well, Told me yourself that you're not the negotiator. I want to negotiate with the people I'm going to negotiate well, I, with. I know, that, I know that the, just like in the previous administration, I know that there's people upstairs listening. <laughs> right. So, so we all now they know you want to negotiate. That's a good thing. We've made some progress It's my duty here. to negotiate on behalf of my I members to protect them. I about to say that. <laughs> So, but to, to not negotiate and to stand there and say you're going to give me, with Nifa's blessing, $21 million was but not a negotiation again, session. I'm not part of the negotiations. Nobody here is part of the negotiations. I do know from statements that were made, not by you, but by other labor leaders here, that they wanted Nifa at the table. We, all, we wanted them there also. Well, they're there. Right. And I know that they... Now, they're all telling me you're going to give me $21 million. I don't know what they're telling you, but I'm just saying that, that you want a knife at the table, knife is there. You wanted a number, apparently you got a number. You don't like the number, I understand that. And now we're staring at a budget with $150 million in, in labor and concessions have, that's got, probably going to get passed while there's different numbers being bandied around with, with amendments and everything yeah, well, else. That we'll, get, we'll get to the amendments and the arguments we made on the amendments later, but that's I can fine. tell you right now, which I'm, I was going to say later, that that the county controller and then people I've checked with on Wall Street indicate that anybody going into the reserve fund, the bond rating plummets. It doesn't drop. It plummets. So you know, I doubt that there'll be any support on this, on this side for going into the argument. That will be safe for that. Yeah. But I'll just say, all right. Thank you for I your mean, time. All I can say is that I just wish the, the politics would stop, that the bickering would stop. We all sit in the same room, negotiate. We all want. We all want this county fixed. I make my livelihood here. If anybody thinks that any union member in this county wants to see this county go into insolvency, they're, they're out of their mind. No, I don't blame but there's, you. But there's got to be... I don't blame the union members, and I don't blame the union leaders. You know, I, I don't want to get into the partisan politics, but the fact of the matter is that the contracts that were given to you and extended by the Swazi administration... With concessions to say... Which, 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 which were approved 19-0 by this because body. Because Tom Stokes stood right where you're standing and said... Let's go on the next one. 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 Let's go on the I don't mean to correct you, Mr. Denenberg, but it's just sometimes with semantics, it's undoable like we don't want to do it. No, it's I not that we don't want to do it. It's unattainable. You're right. It's impossible. Thank you for your time.